CERN is an acronym that translates to European Council for Nuclear Research, but has since moved on to studying particle physics. And even though they invented the internet in 1989, they are most famous for their 666 logo, a video of a woman being ritually sacrificed on CERN grounds at the altar of Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, and for potentially destroying the universe. Multiple lawsuits have been filed to stop CERN's particle collider in fear that it could destroy the Earth, which revealed to the public that CERN is a sovereign entity outside the jurisdiction of the courts, so they can do whatever they want. What is it that they're doing? It has to do with high-velocity counter-rotational spin, which was first documented in Nazi Germany's most secret program, Die Glock, the bell. According to surviving documents, the bell was somehow affecting time and space. The most distinctive aspect of the bell was high-velocity counter-rotational spin, also known as torsion physics. Many are concerned that CERN is attempting to open a portal into another dimension that will allow demonic entities to enter ours. This was blatantly portrayed six years ago in a pagan ritual to celebrate the opening of the Gothard Tunnel, just east of CERN. The dimension they would be attempting to open is already somewhat accessible. Do you hear voices in your head? If you do, then you likely know it's best to keep that to yourself, because a doctor will tell you that you're a schizophrenic. Modern psychiatry calls these voices auditory hallucinations, and even though a whopping 1% of the world's population suffers from schizophrenia, there isn't much research. But after 30 years of working closely with the criminally insane, Jerry Marzinski has noticed that the voices talking to these schizophrenics are all saying the same things. There is a distinct, predictable pattern. The voices are exclusively generating negative emotion, leaving the patient physically and emotionally drained. The voices are always pulling a person away from God or anything positive. The voices are always a call to action, instructing the person to either hurt themselves or hurt someone else which is probably why the voices always rebel against the drugs that are prescribed for schizophrenia. These drugs make a person comatose, and the voices want you to do things. Marzinski believes that schizophrenics are being attacked by non-physical entities that he calls energy parasites because they feed off of negative energy. And in practically every case, the victim has experienced severe trauma usually sexual trauma, which explains why the voices tell people to traumatize others. These demons want more victims. According to the ancient Gnostics, who referred to these entities as Archons, they are destructive, sadistic beings who control the Earth via the thoughts of humans. Voices in the head. This explains the rampant pedophilia we are seeing today and the incestuous inbreeding of royal bloodlines. These energy parasites need traumatized people to feed upon. Perhaps some of the thoughts in our own mind are not our own. Most schizophrenics claim that this is the case, but are told by doctors that they are crazy. Doctors who only give them lobotomies, electroshock, and drugs. And Marzinski has only seen schizophrenics recover once they start seeing these voices as an external entity. They then realize that they can actually resist them and the voices go away. And so, while CERN is a great mystery and a concern, the demons from another dimension may already be here, in our thoughts. So it's a good thing we all have free will. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.